Hi guys, Andy here. You may have seen some of the videos I've been doing of my Nexus 5. Uh, one thing I've got thinking about, the Nexus 5, like quite a few of the new devices out these days, has got wireless charging, or is capable of wireless charging, which means you get like a, a, a QI, a QI charging plate or whatever, and you, and you set your device on it, and that's it, it charges, no need to plug in. Um, it charges through, have I chipped that already? It charges through the, through the case. Uh, you can even have a case on apparently a very thin case, it'll still charge. Um, I haven't tried it yet, I've not bought one from my home yet, but what I thought was um, it'd be quite handy to have a car dock that you just pop the phone in and it charges. Um, a universal one, so I normally use Brodit, uh, they're very specific to each device, they fit very tightly, slot in and click into place to charge. So I thought actually it'd be quite handy if I had a universal one, because I change phones quite a lot, um, provided the new phone has the wireless charging capability, then the universal one that charge would be great. So I actually plumped for a Nokia one, which might sound a little bit odd, but and it was it was quite expensive at fifty-five pounds. <clears throat> but then a lot of people talk about the quality of the Nokia sort of chargers and and this type of thing. So I thought I'll give it a go. If, you know, even the cheapy cheapo nasty ones on eBay are sort of thirty-five pounds. It's only sort of twenty pound more. And I quite like the idea that this one's got NFC built in as well. So when you put the phone in, if you so desire, you can have it trigger open up car mode or a certain app or you know, your navigation or your, so your music player, whatever it might be. Um, anyway, so obviously I thought I'd do a video to show you, first of all, we'll go through the unboxing and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to film a bit in the car of uh, how it looks in store and, and how it works. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so let's see. Just the one. Bit of tape. Not sure how. There we go. So, like I mentioned, I've got the Nexus 5, that, that definitely has wireless charging. The Nexus 7 2013 edition definitely has wireless charging. And Ah, no, that's good. Now, one thing I thought after I'd ordered this, and we'll see better perhaps when I've got in. See, there's a gap in the base. I was, I was quite annoyed with myself, actually. I thought, well, if I do put a phone in here that doesn't have wireless charging, and the charging point is right at the base in the middle, like most phones are, this bit's going to be in the way. And then one of the first things I noticed, there's a nice hole there, look, um, for the cable to go up through if, if it's not a wireless charging device. Okay, first thoughts, this feels relatively heavy, which is good. You know, I know a lot of cheapo car mounts, they're very plasticky, uh, they're very light, they kind of concern me that they break, but this feels it feels pretty sturdy. So what we'll do, we'll pop that, pop that just there for now. Come back to that, see what else is in the box. Um, so, in the top, we have that to be a bespoke cable of some kind. It's a very small little pin on the one end. Is that the, what's this on the other end? And then, oh, so that actually looks like an extension. They look like they'd probably, uh, maybe the one's a bit too small. It looks like this would actually go in there. Like I say, like it's just a bit of an extension. Yeah, I think it is. So, so here's our actual car charger which has a USB I like that as well so you leave this permanently plugged into your cigarette lighter this I think is a fairly safe assumption is going to plug into into the actual there it is at the bottom there just double check I suppose there it goes nice sturdy click as well uh, so that goes into there so we can see how long well you won't be able to see too well I suppose but I'm going to tell you that looks to be about a meter. So we get about a meter right off the bat, and then we get an extension cable, which, right, that's doubled up. I'm going to say that's probably, that's maybe even a meter and a half when it's all on. Maybe not, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. I think it's a little bit longer than, than the first. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, right, I'm getting my cables mixed up here. So, and that 
so that is the extension we'll plug in there again feels it's a good quality connection there there you go you can you can sort of see I've put a fair bit of oh that's not good not me not me light over I'm gonna set fire to things so I'm just gonna pick that up excuse me there we go um, yeah that, that feels this is a good quality connection again that's uh, so I know it's only a plug into a cigarette lighter but it feels it feels pretty good it doesn't feel flimsy it doesn't feel like it would fall to pieces yeah, that's what you're hoping when you spend £55 on a universal car mount, which you you know you could spend a lot less, you're hoping to have some good quality. And that's got a little tag to remind us, it's got NFC built in. But I don't think I need that, let's take that off. Oh, I didn't finish looking in my me, me box, did I? So, what have we got there? Oh, mag are they magnetic? What have I got this metal that I can, that I can test it with that won't, won't ruin? Excuse me, little android. No, maybe not. Or maybe they're just sticky then. That'd be the next assumption. They look they look kind of like magnets, but uh, I suppose it's a fair assumption to think that's possibly a sticky pad on the bottom of each one. So that's kind of cool as well. I like that. That's that's obviously going to help mount the cable sort of neatly around the edge of the dashboard. Got nothing in that base, but that's fine. And then I assume this is my instruction manual. Which of course I shall read cover to cover. Oh my God, really? That was like 15 languages there. Uh, so far, they're very much looking like exactly the same document. Italiano, Espanol. Uh, English clamp release button mount locking lever suction oh they're the parts of those instructions okay so I've got my English one let's, let's put not that I'm going to sit and read through them because I think it's fairly self-explanatory I would have thought let's have a real quick look I've changed my mind I don't, I don't think we bothered to have a look I think we'll cope thank you very much so, let's see, whoa, okay, that's, that's very tacky, actually I might check the instructions at some point just to see, is that kind of a natural tacky or has that got something on it, I wonder. Um, just get the remainder of this. Remainder of the protective plastic off. Now where's my Nexus gone? Let's just test this for because that's the one thing. This did how do these move I wonder? Well they're pretty sturdy as well actually. Do they move? Oh my god I'm gonna have to read the instructions. Oh there we go oh look at that. Oh that does feel pretty good actually. So there's a little release button there. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna pop my device in and I'm gonna squeeze. And I'm gonna hope. Okay, how's I've managed to shake I think a bit of a gap in there. Yeah. You see that? But all in all no, that's that's holding steady. That's, there's a slight, slight gap, but all in all, that's that's a pretty sturdy grip it's got actually, and I would suggest that's quite, uh, that's quite a neat, that's quite a neat holder. Um, do you think? Would you agree? Kind of classy, not too messy. I hate the ones that got huge, big arms that stick out here, but actually, and there we can just just to confirm. Look, the I don't know if you can how well you can see that. Let me see. I'm gonna get my light on there for a second. You see that? There we go. There's plenty of space for the charging cable. I mean, I'm talking plenty of space for the charging cable to go up and into the, uh, the charging position. But that is, I think that's actually a really nice bit of kit. Um, let's just try that release button again. So I'm going to press the release button. Oh, did you see that? Let's just do that once more. So they're tightly, tightly in place. 
Where's the best angle? There we go. That's very sexy. Oh. So, there we go. Um, I think the next step is to whack it in the car. Oh, actually, there's one thing that we should... It's got a ball joint at the back there. Again, I don't know where you can see that. I'm a little bit dark today. I'm very sorry about that. Um, it's got a ball joint in the back there. Um, and it, it feel, again, it feels a good quality one. I'm going to have to put a reasonable bit of pressure. I mean, you saw when I was shaking... That's not... I don't think that's... If I smash my neck, that's doing this for you guys. I'm going to be pissed. I don't know, that move, it, might, it might have moved slightly, but I'm shaking pretty vigorously. I'm going to have to put a lot of pressure on it now to... I think generally... Can you see what I'm doing? That's, that's pretty sturdy. I'm really quite impressed by this. So... Yeah, the one last little bit of video will be, let's see what it's like in the car. But all around, I think that's uh, that's probably £55 well spent. Now, it might be that it's not my best idea ever to do this in the dark. and us try and film it for you. But I'm an impatient kind of guy. So I'm getting on with it. So I'm just showing you here. So sort of, I'm no blooming car expert and hopefully this doesn't break it. Break the electrics, but this is without the extension. Oh, that's going to be kind of tight. Um, I've just basically popped it all up in in the gap, as you saw, just sticking it in with a pen. And it's going to come out down here. I'm now going to see if I can use those little clips to kind of secure the last bit. To be honest, I can live with uh, with that little bit of, of cable there. Okay, I'm all about ready. I've, I've put my cable in all the way around to there. I'm going to mount it around there, but facing the driver's side. I just thought I'd show you. I, I thought, oh, how does it, is there anything I need to know about? the suction cup and I found this bit here look as I, as I press it the cup comes out the sucker comes out so basically I'm going to mount it like so and, and do that easy okay so it's in place and I'm just I thought I'd show you me using it with it in place so you can see uh, how sturdy it is I suppose that's fine how do I Now, that's a little, a little disappointing. Now, this, this widget's not necessarily all accurate, but it supposedly measures the milliamp hours. And that's not a lot. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Um, let's see what... Oh, that's interesting. So it knows it's charging wirelessly. So, I'm going to have to monitor that one. It'll be a real shame, obviously, if, it, uh, if it's not kicking in enough. I'll, uh, I'll report back on, on the details, having used the device for a little while. But I can tell you that that certainly, it sticks on. I blew my blooming, I blew the, me, the bulb on my light, unfortunately. So that sticks on good and proper. I think it's quite neatly tucked away down the edge and down there so I've used my two I've used two of the little sticker thing I'm not sure how well that, that first one's come off in fact so I'll try and press that on a bit more but I mean I'm happy enough that's tucked away yeah obviously that's going to be different in each car but uh, I think that's a really quite an impressive holder yeah, we'll have to wait and see just how, if it provides enough power. Oops. Because that at the minute is sort of trickling in. I believe that means that more is going in and coming out, so that's point one, because I'm connected, connected via Bluetooth. I suppose if I kick in some GPS, it might struggle a bit. It's going to turn off as soon as I come out, is not it? So, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how that gets on. But on. I did just have the thought, with the engine running, will it, will it give more? And it does seem to bounce around. I've seen, look, oh, there's a 700. Can you see that? Let me zoom in a bit if I can. 
So I suddenly thought, the engine's not ticking over, does it still provide the same amount of power? Come on, focus. Focus, please. There we go. So we're getting some 700s, 400, 700. Again, this widget's not necessarily totally accurate. That gives me more confidence, that makes me think that it will at least, to be honest, if it just at least holds the charge that it has, you know, if I put it in my car at 80 and I use sat nav, I'm streaming music, you know, I do some pretty intensive stuff that will burn through the battery at a rapid rate, if it can just hold it steady, which I think this would, with that, with that kind of, those kind of milliamps going in, let's drop down a little bit, drop down quite a lot, um, you know, I, I think, I presume it is, yeah, it is fully in. I think that will be enough. But all in all, I think that's a pretty impressive uh, car mount. Apologies for me being so impatient and doing it in the dark, but now it's winter, I don't know when I'll get some actual daylight hours I could film outside. So I've gone ahead and done it anyway, hope you forgive me. Um, if you do like the look of this, and from what I've seen, okay, we'll wait and see on the actual power, but that might be a whole, you know, that might be the best wireless can do. Um, but if you do like it and you're going to buy one, I would just ask if you don't mind, please use the link in the description below because I'll get a few pennies from Amazon. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.